Hello YouTube. I'm working on a video series coming up soon that will kind of be interesting, I'm hoping, but it requires me wearing Samurai Armor just because. And so I thought, since I'm going to be putting on Samurai Armor, I should make a video kind of detailing a question I've been asked a few times of how quickly could you put on Samurai Armor. And this varies, of course, because if you have it stored in its box or if you have it in its kind of display position, it takes a little bit longer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the best case scenario of someone, some samurai, was just fighting in a battle, he got done with his fighting, went back to his camp, and he just kind of took off his gear because he's tired, it's, it's kind of strewn about his sleeping area, and he's just sitting around relaxing, and then he gets word that they're under attack. And so I'm going to go as quickly as I can, I'm not going to try and be frantic about it, so you might be able to get a little bit faster, but it'll at least show you kind of how quickly and easily it is to put on, it still takes a little bit of time, but it's a lot faster than nightly, plate mail or plate farmer and hopefully you'll get to see that you can do it yourself and you can do it yourself pretty fast nothing okay so let's get started so I'm not going to time myself but if you want to time me go for it in three two one putting on the left shin guard and of course if you're under attack you might kind of try and prioritize what armor goes first uh, probably, honestly, I would probably be okay with just putting on my uh, chest armor and my helmet. Uh, the thing I would be first to quit, oh, also my hip guards, because those are really nice. But uh, first thing I would get rid of is the arm guards. Ideally, you should be able to defend your arms, at least moderately well, uh, with just your swords, especially with a two-sword style like mine. But you got to do what you got to do. Definitely the chest would be very important, and i put the helmet right up there as well. So the next thing, you got the hip guards, or thigh guards, whatever. And then this would be the thing I would skip first because this does take time, but then the arm guards would go next. And I've kind of made it a little faster than what it once was, but it still takes time, especially the forearms. But you can get the armor on pretty quick. And like, if, I mean, I'd probably, if I was under attack, I would, might go with it just being loose like this, because at least it's doing something. But for the sake of the video, we're going to put it on correctly. Try to use your teeth to tie the knots, because you don't have a squire or a helper. Probably, it's probably perfectly adequate that if you're in battle, there's probably people around you. If some guy gets done first, help, he'll help you out. If you get done first, help someone else out. The goal is to try and get as many people in armor as possible. Because if you're the only one in armor, and every one of your friends is dead, and there's a lot of bad guys, you're going to die pretty quick too. Doesn't matter how much armor you have. And this is kind of the biggest modification. I don't have any of those chest straps anymore. I just kind of secure it like a shirt. Almost. And this strap is a bitch, apparently. So that just cost me some time and effort. So if you want to take the best case scenario, minus 10 seconds or something, because it took me forever to find my strap. Okay, and then you got your chest armor. So in the face with the shoulder guards, because that is what you do if you want to do things correctly. Gotta do that first. Wakes you up a little bit. Tie your knot. I'm gonna put my arm on first, I'll worry about the belt last. Normally I put the belt on, but we're gonna go with getting actual armor on versus the accessories. Okay, so right now, I'm pretty much fully armored, so you can either stop your timer now if you want. I think that was reasonably good. But if you want to go into full battle mode where everything's correct, let's get your long OB out. Tie. And there's been people who talk about how you should put your oh, run your OB or your katanas through your OB when you're doing it. Try and do that fast. And really, I can get my belt a lot tighter. When I have it, when there's no swords in the way, then I can when there is. So it's giving me a tighter fit, then I just force the swords through, and I think it works better. 
That's just my experience and opinion though. Okay, belt on. Wakasashi in place. And Katana in place. And I'm ready to fuck with whoever wants to screw with my weapons. Okay, that's the quick video of me trying to put on armor as quickly as I possibly can. I think that was pretty fast. It wasn't as fast as I've probably ever done, but it was decent. And it sure is faster than putting on night play. So, there's it. There you go. Look forward to my next videos where I'm going to try and give a little bit of a different feeling to the YouTube community as a whole. Good luck. Thanks for watching.